the first drummer like that I actually was inspired to drum by it's kind of hard for me to tell I think it was actually the Elvis drummer I don't even know the name of him but but Elvis was like that was one of my first loves with music when I was just like five six years old like early music like that is what kind of made me want to play drums and got kind of the interest started uh, in drums we grew up in the 70s so you had the whole like the British wave uh, with, with the bands like Black Sabbath and Judas Priest and Saxon and all those bands and and um, the, all those drummers really were an inspiration to me at, at that time. Later on, obviously, the Bay Area Thrash, you know, uh, Lars Ulrich, Dave Lombardo, like all the great drummers, like bands like Anthrax, Metal Church. Okay, Anthrax were in the Bay Area, but still, you know, from the same time period. Um, Charlie Benanthe was another one that were like, in my teens, he was a, he was a big inspiration, you know. Later years, also like some jazz fusion with drummers like Gary Husband and Vinnie Colley, you know, drummers like that had an impact uh, in those kind of still formative years. And those were the, also the, the early years of me, uh, for me and the band um, in, in Meshuggah. So in the, like around 90, 91, 92, uh, the whole band pretty much listened to a lot of kind of that kind of music as well. Um, that obviously had an impact, you know. Looking on drummers like today that I really, I am in awe of today, um, and in metal especially, maybe if we take that first, that would be, I mean, Dave Lombardo is still one of my favorites. Uh, Gene Hoagland is probably the best metal drummer on the planet, I think. Um, Dirk Verburen, who used to play with Soilwork, now with Megadeth, excellent, excellent drummers. There's just so many of them. Kyle Beckstrom of uh, C.B. Murdoch, probably the, the most insane drumming I've heard in my life uh, on their new album with C.P. Murdoch. Um, not only metal, if you take like a band like Trans Am and uh, Sebastian Thompson of, of, of uh, Trans Am, that's some of the the best like rock type drumming I've heard. It's so groovy. Uh, guys like Danny Carey of Tool, uh, Bron Daler of Mastodon. There's just there's just too many of them really to to mention all of them. But the, those are some of the guys like that are out and about right now that, that are definitely, you know, inspirational. To kind of take the, the inspiration of the drummers that that, uh, that I had in, in the formative years and, and also nowadays isn't maybe uh, the, the, the step from that to what we do isn't maybe for, for a lot of people an obvious one and uh, I don't, I, I know a lot of people see our music as extremely technical and whatever and, um, and, and it, it certainly is in, in its own way, um, but to, to me, it's just we're just trying to write something that sounds like new to us and sounds like fresh to our ears. It sounds like something that we ourselves haven't heard before, and that's been the main drive for for each album with with Meshuga. We're just trying to come up with new ways of sounding a little bit different, even though we. We're still within the framework of what we have to be. We're this metal band. We're not gonna all of a sudden start doing clean vocals and like play just super straight, you know, cheesy rock or whatever. Uh, we have this framework that we we want to be in. We probably and hopefully always will be in. Uh, so with that said, you have that's the limitation of what we're doing. So we're just trying to kind of create something new, but still within this framework and and and. Uh, I see myself as a, a, I'm basically a heavy metal drummer from, like that's, that's how I see myself. I don't see myself necessarily as a very, as a very technical drummer. Oh, right, right.